To use RV OneSearch to find scholarly articles, you'll start from the library homepage. RV OneSearch is the main search box that appears on the screen and will search most of the library's databases, the library's catalog and ebook collections, and some of our streaming video collections. Searching for a broad or general topic will retrieve a lot of results, so you'll want to use more specific keywords that explain the information you are looking for. Remember not to type in a question or thesis statement. You want to instead pick out the keywords that are most likely to appear in your article. Think of what the words would be in the title of your perfect article and start by searching those. For example, if I want to find scholarly articles about the kind of education Native Americans receive on the reservation, I could start by searching for Native Americans and education. I put Native Americans in quotation marks because it is a specific phrase that I want the search to find, rather than finding the words Native and Americans separate from each other, and tells the search to find both of these terms in my results. This search retrieved over 80,000 results. One important keyword I did not include is reservation, so I can go to the top of the screen and add this keyword to my search. Now I've narrowed it to about 18,000 results. These icons tell me what kind of information I'm getting. I have an article from an academic journal, a government document, a periodical, which usually refers to a magazine article, and if I go a little further down, some book sources. I can limit these results to only the articles that are published in scholarly journals by checking off the option for peer-reviewed on the left-hand side of my screen. Peer-reviewed describes the process that articles in a scholarly journal go through before they are published. These articles, which are written by experts in a field, are reviewed by other experts in the field in a rigorous process to ensure that they are high-quality research articles. When I check off peer-reviewed, I now have about 9,000 results. When you are asked to find scholarly articles for an assignment, you are looking for lengthy articles that are original research studies or well-researched in-depth reviews of a specific topic. Now I can go through my results to find something relevant to my research. When I hover over this little icon with a magnifying glass, I can read the article's abstract, which is a brief summary of the article. And this will help me determine if this article might be useful. The links to full text are what will take me to the entire article. Not every article on my list will be available in full text. Remember that you do need to read the full text of an article to use it as a source. You should not quote from an abstract. I see that most of my results are about Native Americans, and some of them include the word reservation, but many are not relevant to education. There are a few ways I can refine this search to get better results. One option is to go back to the top of my screen and use the advanced search option to work with my keywords for better results. Here, my keywords are all on one line, but I'm going to use the multiple search lines to separate them. I'll leave Native Americans in the first search line in quotes, put education in the second line, and reservation in the third. Now I can use the drop-down boxes next to each search box to specify where I want my keywords to appear. For example, I can select to have education found in the subject terms. Subject terms are like tags. Articles that are about a specific topic are tagged with subject terms to make it easier to find all of the articles on that topic. Another option is to search the abstract for a term. So I can select abstract for the term reservation. This will find articles where the term reservation is mentioned in the summary of the article. Now when I search, I have only 1,182 results. I need to check off peer-reviewed again so I can get to my scholarly articles, and I'm down to 273 results. I'm starting to see results that are more relevant to my topic now that I've changed my search. You'll notice that the article titles are very specific, things like Intervention Effects on Kindergarten and First Grade Teachers' Classroom Food Practices and Food-Related Beliefs in American Indian Reservation Schools. Scholarly articles tend to be about very specific situations because they are usually research studies or a very in-depth analysis of a narrow topic. You'll probably need to read through several abstracts to find an article that is relevant. Don't stop at the first three or five results. Often in a database, you'll still find good, relevant results much further down your list.
For example, number 10 on my list is an innovative approach to student internships on American Indian reservations. While this is relevant to Native Americans and education on a reservation, it is looking at a very specific aspect of that education. If you're not getting exactly the results you need, start thinking more specifically about what information you want your article to include. You may need to go back up to the top of your search and change some of your keywords. For example, if you're particularly interested in high school students, maybe you're going to take out the word reservation and put in a term like secondary education, which is a more formal way of saying high school. I can search for that in the abstract, include Native Americans in quotes, and when I do a new search, this will completely change the kinds of results that I'm getting. Again, sometimes you need to play around with the keywords you're using in order to really get to the scholarly article that's going to be the most useful for you. Remember that you're looking for links that say full text in order to get to the entire article. There'll be a couple of different options for this, but full text is always what you're looking for. If you see this message that the RVCC library does not have access to the article, then you can do an interlibrary loan request if you have some time. It takes about a week or two weeks, but we get the article from another library. Or if you're finding a lot of your results show up with that message, on the left hand side where you clicked peer reviewed, you can also limit to the full text articles and this will give you only articles where you have access to the full text. Once you do look at a full text article, click on the link and from here you'll have tools where you can email the article to yourself, pull up the citation for the article by clicking the icon and scrolling down to MLA, or print the article using the printer icon that appears on the article itself. If you have any difficulties finding a scholarly article for your research paper, please feel free to contact a librarian.